good morning student welcome to our uh, star media boards uh, youtube channel today we will discuss about the 11th standard biozoology lesson 9th lesson the heading of the lesson locomotion and movement each and every organism they have the movement for the various purpose today we will discuss about what are the type of movement is there other things it's going to be discussed today come to our uh, video see that locomotion and movement first of all we have to differentiate uh, what is uh, locomotion and uh, movement here the locomotion means the movement from one place to another place of the organism for uh, food and other things the various purpose the organism is going to be move one places to another place for reproduction and uh, food searching and uh, uh, from the uh, enemy escapism so these things must be the organism or animals is going to be one places to another places that is called locomotion locate this is a meaning locate means uh, one places to another place so movement means it's a uh, uh, movement of uh, uh, organs some uh, uh, distance it is called a uh, movement here the movement type of movement occur in the cell of the body type of movement so smallest variation they have the movement with the help of movement the uh, locomotion is take place so first one is the type of movement one is amoeboid movement so uh, we know already amoeba amoeba is a unicellular organism there is no locomotory organ or legs and other things even though there is no leg it's moved slowly one places to another places with the help of uh, uh, protoplasm or a cytoplasm the cytoplasm projection is uh, pushes the uh, cell membrane they have uh, podia so pseudopodia with the help of pseudopodia is slowly moved that is called uh, amoeboid movement like that the macro page of the pathogen macro page means uh, we already know the uh, meaning macro page in our blood uh, we have our uh, wbc the one of the wbc is a macro page this macro page is identified pathogen it's engulfed by the way of amoeboid movement and swallowed it that is called uh, amoeboid movement this is happening in our body macro page pathogen another one is uh, second one is ciliary movement ciliary movement is uh, the, they have the cilia already in the lower animals we have two type of uh, locomotory organ one is cilia another one is flagellum so in uh, structure of the bacteria cell also they have this uh, two type of uh, projection that is called uh, cilia one of this short distance uh, air like structure that is called uh, cilia so uh, this uh, ciliary movement slowly happening in our uh, uh, respiratory and uh, genital tract in uh, respiratory tract inside the respiratory tract they have the minute uh, uh, hair uh, like projection that is cilia this cilia is moved slowly and uh, the particles are moved or is going to be stopped that uh, type of cell it's contain ciliary epithelium cell the ciliary epithelium is nothing but so this is a uh, muscle cell they have the minute uh, air like structure this is called cilia this is called cilia like that so many uh, cells arranged in in and tack of the respiratory tract it's going to be filter the hair as well as here one more uh, uh, is there the genital tract genital tract means in human uh, female reproductive system the pelobian tube inside the pelobian tube they have the ciliary like uh, muscles it absorbs the egg or ovum it slowly moved towards the um, <coughs> embryo sac 
so this is a, uh, a ciliary moment another one is plagellar moment plagellar moment listen we know that already one of the organism is there so this is one of the euglena inside the euglena they have the uh, plagellum web like structure with the web like structure it's going to be moved uh, uh, one places to another places that is called uh, plagellar moment the plagellum is a web like structure it is a motile organ this is one of the uh, technical term motile means movement the organism the organ which used for movement that is called a motile organ so with the help of motile organ or yeah, with the help of plagellum and the organism is going to be move one places to another places example sperm cell here uh, the sperm cell is there see the sperm cell they have the head like structure and the neck is there and the long tail is there so it is a head head is a uh, triangular shape a neck and tail with the help of tail they have moved uh, uh, easily swimming uh, easily uh, to obtain the vagina so that is uh, the sperm cell moved one places to another places with the help of plagellar movement so next one is muscular movement it is a higher animal human beings they have lot of muscles with the help of muscle we have uh, located one places to another places this is uh, the contraction and relaxation of hands legs and tongues inside the hand and leg and tongue they have the muscles the muscle have some vessel arrangement uh, that is uh, contractile protein is there inside the muscle with the help of contraction and relaxation we have moved so that is called the example muscle fiber in our body a lot of uh, muscle fiber is there with the help of muscle fiber we have uh, moved one places to another places that is called the muscular movement keep it in your mind four type of movement is there one is amoeboid movement second one is ciliary movement third one is plagellar movement fourth one is muscular movement and uh, uh, next to pass on that uh, types of muscles what are the muscle is there so the fourth category we will uh, discuss elaborately uh, first muscle means the special type of tissue the special type of tissue for uh, locomotive purpose only they have uh, originated from uh, mesoderm you can student must be keep it in your mind what is the mesoderm the embryo is developed in worm in the zygote is firstly divided into two and uh, uh, simultaneously is going to be divided on a uh, lot of cells is going to be uh, produced inside the zygote they arranged in a three layer uh, first layer is uh, uh, in the middle layer is called the mesoderm and upper ectoderm and uh, innermost is endoderm so from the endoderm in the muscles are going to be derived that is the all the muscles are made up of myocytes this is a, a cell muscle cell the myocyte is a cell it is going to be constructed one another one another above the muscle fiber muscle fiber or muscle uh, uh, cells is going to be formed that is uh, myocytes in our body approximately 40 to 40, uh, 50 percent 40 percent to 50 percent of the body weight the muscle only is there the muscle weight of our body 40 to 50 percent this is a uh, one of the one more question you have to uh, keep it in your mind very clearly so another uh, so the origination of the muscle is uh, mesoderm and uh, the cell is called uh, myocyte very clearly understand that so next one is the skeletal muscle the three type of uh, uh, muscle is there in our body one is skeletal muscle another one is visceral muscles 
third one is cardiac muscles so in our body totally three type of muscle is there according to the position as well as function we are categorized with three type of muscles so first we will uh, discuss elaborately in the skeletal muscle the skeletal muscle otherwise called a voluntary muscles what is voluntary and involuntary with the help of brain or cns the cns put the order to the uh, nerves the nerves taken the order to uh, the, the happening place or uh, locomotion place so our action place that is called uh, the voluntary muscle involuntary muscle means without knowing of cns or brain the spinal cord alone taken the decision it, uh, it it is controlled by the spinal cord that is called involuntary action here all the skeletal muscles are under the control of brains or cns so that's why it's called a uh, voluntary muscle so the voluntary muscle of skeletal muscle attached with bone what is mean by skeletal muscle so it is nothing but this is one uh, bone bone cell we have bone cell like this the bone cell within the bone cell they have the uh, tissue the, this is a tissue is uh, going to be attached inside the tissue they have a lot of bundle is there so the attachment of the skeletal muscle with the bone it is happening by the collagen fiber the, the gum like structure is going to be attached with the bone that is called a collagen fiber the attachment that is called a tendon the uh, bundle of fiber it is going to be attached to the uh, bone it is called a tendon keep it in your mind one more question this is and um, the skeletal muscle made up of bundle of muscle fiber see that here one bundle is there here one bundle is there here one bundle is there so the skeletal muscle made up of many bundle fiber or the muscle fiber is there so here the bundle of muscle fiber the skeletal muscle made up of bundle of muscle fiber it's called a fascicle each and every bundle is called a fascicle fascicle this is called fascicle so each and every bundle they have the fascicle the name is called fascicle keep it in your mind another if you take one bundle if you take one bundle or projected in biggest way they have many uh, rod like structure inside it they have the rod like structure inside it so here also one more bundle is there you take it take it one bundle away from the skeletal muscle you can see that this each and every muscle fiber or fascicle contains thousands of rod like structure rod like structure is called myofibrils this is called this is one one of the rod this is one of the rod these are called myofibrils myo fibrils keep it in your mind skeletal muscle is uh, um, originated from mesoderm of the embryonic cell and it is made up of myocyte in the skeletal muscle uh, of the body contain 40 to 50% of the weight and uh, uh, three type of skeletal muscle is there one is skeletal muscle another one is visceral muscle third one is cardiac muscle so visceral muscle means what in soft uh, 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 cells or is present uh, in the surface of the or inner track of the uh, digestive system or small intestine large intestine these are the visceral muscles these are the visceral muscle we see very uh, loosely arranged cells this is called a visceral muscle or a smooth muscle this is otherwise called a smooth muscles a cardiac muscle means it is present only the heart the heart is made up of cardiac muscles so here the skeletal muscle otherwise called a, a striated tissue it try a striated uh, tissue stripe stripes is that inside the muscle they have the stripes they have the stripes 
so this is called uh, this is otherwise called uh, striated muscles here whole muscle is covered by the name is called uh, epimysium epimysium the muscle is covered white thick fibrous cover is called uh, epimysium uh, and uh, the muscle they have a lot of bundle already told uh, that uh, basicle is covered by one uh, thick layer that is called uh, perimysium another one is each and every uh, fiber myofibrils is covered by uh, one cover layer is there that is called uh, endomysium so these and all uh, uh, we take that muscle one bit of muscle they have lot of things is there this is a muscle fiber um, muscle uh, uh, fascicles the fascicle contain a rod like structure that is called myofibrils myofibrils they have the cover that is called endomysium in, in uh, next video we will discuss about the rod like structure in deeply uh, they have a dark area and light area between the dark and light area they have special type of protein this is called contractile protein this contractile habit is work for locomotion and gliding and sliding so this and all we will discuss in next video uh, keep it in your mind uh, subscribe our video uh, our channel and uh, uh, keep on watching our uh, videos it is very helpful to your uh, academic side as well as uh, need coaching Thank you for watching this video.